All right, we're back with another episode of Explicit Content. I'm here today with my boy, Money Money. What's going on? Money Richburg. Uh, Trey, Trey Austin. Um, we're here today to talk about CapEx, Trey's new rap career, and then, you know, whatever else Money is about to talk to us about. So, how's 2020 been treating y'all? You know, 2020 been pretty good for the most part. Mm-hmm. It started off pretty good, you know. Uh, went to Mardi Gras with my boys, you know. Everything was going good in college then Corona hit So Kind of Put everybody in a little Dang It's over We should have really You know Should have went out where you went But <laughs> It is what it is It's alright Yeah How about you though sir? Nah it's been It was It was okay for the first part Then my guy Kobe died That hit And then Corona hit So but I mean, Corona time, it's really opened up a lot of doors for me. So, so that's my plus for the year. What kind of doors have you been opening up? Uh, really just rapping. I just got started. Okay. Amani really helped me with that. But okay. without right. Corona, I wouldn't be rapping. I'm, no, I feel So with, before Corona, you just were running track, right? Yeah, I was just running track, going to practice. I mean, me and my, my uh, teammate, Justin, we were making music, but it was in the dorm room. Not so, in serious yeah. type shit. All right, yeah, I feel that. But we did make some hard music. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, so I know, Monty, uh In 2019, we started Capex. Um, and in 2020, it's actually started to take off now. You want to talk about that? Um, how far we came from the first original shirts to the bunny shirt you're wearing now? So it's just like <clears throat> I think we came up with like the original shirts. Well, nah, you came up with it during uh. Around the same time we did Pluto vs. Paradise. And that's when we was really like, all right, we could just, you know, do this. But we all, like, trying to bring in some kind of money in each direction. So, like, with you, me and you, you know what I'm saying? You got, we got similar cap because you got DJ cap. I got the hosting parties cap. Then Rose, you know, Rose with the teaching. Then you got Jimbe with the music. You got Jairus with the, uh, Swiping nation swipe cap. cap, you know what I'm saying. The swipe cap. Got Jairus, he hooping. Then you know what I'm saying. Got our boy Malachi, boy deploying. Got Taquan with technology. Always had everything going on. You know what I'm saying. Shane and Joe, really been the game. Then you know I got my Greenville branch. My boys, you know what I'm saying. Trey Marcus and Miles. And with that, it's just really. I don't know. I just really want to make sure I got, like, when I leave Morehouse, I have a group of friends that, like, we all bring in and benefit something that we did together while we was at school. Right. So it was like, when this whole corona thing died down, it was like, dang, I really got time to, like, focus on it. I started hitting you up every day because I'm like, bro, I ain't got nothing else to do. I'm back at the crib right now because it's just it's too hectic out here in Atlanta right now. So I was like, go back home. Shoot, you feel me? Get a job, get to working. Got a little coaching job, working on my insurance, real estate license. You coaching with football? Yeah, I'm coaching school, football, football at uh, Christchurch. High school or middle school? Uh, I'm doing JV in middle school. Okay. So it's like I'm working on offensive plays, really doing something I like to do. Right. You know, paying real solid. Happy to be a part of that program. Practice has been cool. So... I know you went to Christchurch, right? Yeah. So how does that feel to be back at your own water coaching? Uh, it feel pretty good because, you know, they started kind of losing games and stuff when me and my boys left. Jump was crazy. We was like, dang. But it's like it feel good because I'm not trying to have them lose to no schools at all. Nah, I can't be on that staff losing. So I feel I'm going to so- give it all I got for it for real. So I know, um, like you said, you, you kind of did CapEx to um, further the Morehouse implementation or Morehouse brand on your life. Yeah. Um, how's the A64 been, you know, left with implement on your life? A64 has been crazy. It's like, even when I go back home, it's just like, I don't even be home that much as I like used to. And it was just like, I started peeping because like, Started losing touch with some of my friends. It was a lot of stuff going on. And then, like, since I've been home, it's just catching up with everybody. 
seeing what everybody owned. And like, when I started out with CapEx, everybody like, shoot, money. Go ahead. Like, you already know. Like, that junk fire. Like, I'm with it. So I was like. Nah, yeah, I saw because that's the thing. I was going to, you know, we got a lot of support at school with CapEx, but a lot of more support was coming from home. Yeah, and it I was saw, just I like. I noticed that too when you went home, people was eating it up. It was just like, yeah, bro. It was like eating it up. And it's like, I'm thankful for it because it's like, dang, like. I got that much love in the city, yeah. like, individual. So it's just like, I'm getting my love in the AUC, then I'm coming home feeling the same thing. It's, it's just like, not, like I never home. left. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, bro, because it's just like, these are people that really know me. They know you. So it's just yeah. like, for y'all to really know me and support me, it's just like, I appreciate that for real, for real. I feel that. So uh, what's like the club scene like in the A64? Mid. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mid. I don't think I've been to a club in Greenville, honestly. Oh, no. Nah, we went to the clubs, bro. Oh, we went well, to back in middle shit. school, club cream used to be... Like, middle school and high crazy. school type shit. They Shout even had some like, shit like the there. empowerment zone. Yeah, like middle school clubs and shit. Yeah, but yeah, then when you got older, it just... The people city started... Got hot, pow, like, pow. As soon as folks was able to get their hands on guns, bro. The city went nuts. Like, our generation, the city went crazy. And you don't think it was like that before? Like, in a. It was. Like if it was, was like that, it we was, was too young to, like. Yeah, to but it's just like. Yeah. It was stuff be happening, and I'm like, my. When it's your friends. And my shit. little sister, yeah. five years younger than me, like, she know about it, and I'm just like, how you know about this? So it's just like, dang. Yeah. Like, people you at least expect it from. They out here. But you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own route. Just wish them the best with it. So you think a lot of the crime in Greenville is like gang violence? or Gang violence most definitely. Oh, that's, yeah. that's respectful. But it's just like... It's not... It's not that much, though. But it's like when it happens, though, it really hit home because it's just like... Because Greenville kind of small. Kinda it's just like... Party. You knew, you knew, you feel me? It's just like, you ain't known for real, for real, but like you saw him around, it's just like, you feel different. It's just like, dang, that's somebody I know. If I go over here, I'm not gonna see them again. Yeah. Jump just be crazy. Cause like, we all came up together. But you know what I'm saying? Everybody's got their separate ways. All right, I feel that. So, uh, back to CapEx. Um, let me think. How would you, so I know CapEx is a different meaning than everybody else's Cap. Yeah. Work. So, how can you do it? I want you to define CapEx in your past four years in Morehouse. Like, how did you use your cap to help you survive through four years in Morehouse? It just, uh, really focusing on, like, who I kept around me. You feel me? It was just, like, at Morehouse, it's a lot of people who like you for, like, what you can, like, bring to the table. Like, I'll never forget, I had some folks push up to my crib talking about, hey, Monty, uh, like, we trying to go Greek. Like, what can I do to, like, get clout? And, like, my boy Steve and Chris was in there, and I was just like, this is, uh, this is back 889, eight, sophomore year. It's just like, dang, like, Okay, we not freshmen no more. Like yeah, that stuff that don't matter. Though, like man. it was that time. Like move on. Like you, your own person. That but doing it was like stuff. you figured it out or you didn't. You feel me? Yeah, you just had to kind of like see that through. Some people stuck. Some people move forward. But that was just a crazy time though, because it was like sophomore year. I really had to figure out who was my friend, who wasn't my friend. It was just so much going on, but. Everything panned out eventually. And that's mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. I'm happy for everything that happened because I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. How would you describe your experiences at Miami, Trey? Um, I know mean, you're a yeah. college athlete there too. Yeah, it's all about figuring out your friends, like who really, whose heart is really for you, or whatever. Cause like it's a lot of people, a lot of snakes, honestly. And that they just want to leech on just because you play sports or whatever, or you got a good future. And it goes both for, like, guys and girls. Like, they just want to be your friend, just want to have a part of your life, you know what I'm saying? So it's just been weeding out those people. So I have I have a, a good group, 
Man, yeah, just been using that cat. Then, like, also, you feel me? Like, capitalizing, like, the capitalizing executives. It's like, I peep, I had people like that that was like, dang, bro, like, like, they really was like, they was into the parties we was having. So I was just like, okay, like, I could do something with this. So I was like, because I remember first, like, first year, first day of sophomore year, I was like, yeah, let me just have a party. Had it for free. Didn't care. Bro, then one day I was like, bro, I can make money off this. Right. Shoot, yeah. the party money was, like, great money. The party cap is great cap. Bro, and it was like, damages that would happen would not be that bad damages. Like, people weren't that crazy. You feel me? But it was some damages. We used to, you know, used to do the Airbnb, so the owners used to just be... On our lines after. Oh, yeah. I don't got an Airbnb account. Shout out Pluto it's Paradise. Fire, yeah. Yeah. Y'all, y'all lit. <laughs> Pluto Paradise. Y'all lit for real. So, um, you said capitalizing executive. That's like what capital or capex is being branched off to. And I know you bring in Trey and um, as far as the artist tip. How do you feel like uh, you can contribute as being a manager to his career? Uh... It's really, like, shout out to all my boys who I see, like, really putting forth a lot of effort towards their music careers with me being down in Atlanta. Okay. Just, like, got my boy Chris. He out here with music. My boy Swell, he from here. He got Elon. And then Shane. Shoot, Keno be doing a little something with the music. And then, like, other friends I just met, you know, just, like, being at Morehouse, never taught music during the school year. Then, like, Chris did something with B-Will. I was like, bet, I'm going to start, you know what I'm saying, talking to B-Will. Then when Trey hit me up, told me, he was like, yeah, bro, I want to beat. I was like, shoot, I'm going to hit the first people that come to mind. Hit up Swell, hit up B-Will, hit up Justin. So it's just like, just taking it, you know what I'm saying, day by day with it, being patient. As where long you, as he love doing it, I'm going to keep on supporting my bro. That's respectable. So... Where are you looking to take it, or are you looking to branch the music scene off any further for CapEx? Or? Shoot. Capitalizing. Like, if it's there, I'm going to take it. I'm not just going to, like, see the opportunity and be like, uh, I don't think so. Man, you better see it through. We in 2020. It's so much stuff going on. You never know where life can take you. Like, if you see opportunity, take it. No, that's real. So Trey, you got uh, your debut single "Doubt of Me" coming out next week, June nineteenth. Mm-hmm. Um, how would you describe your sound? Or I know you say you had a lot of snakes in your circle or something. Yeah. You feel me? That what was the inspiration for for that song? Or? Uh, really, really, it was just the people that that left. I thought they was there for me. You know what I'm saying? And they wasn't there. So like, it's a, I put a lot of trust in people. If you were my circle, I put a lot of trust in you. But, like, once I find out, like, you're not there for me, like, I even said, like, I always thought you were going to be there around for you, but you wasn't there for me, whatever. Right. But, like, yeah, that and really just my life. I mean, I've I've had it pretty good, but, you know, that comes with a lot of stuff, too. All my friends that I hung out with, they didn't have it like I did. So it was, I just want to help and give back, you know what I'm saying? And being around them, I saw a lot of stuff as well. So, kind of both sides. All right. So, how would you describe your sound? I know, um, like I said, you're releasing your first song, so a lot of fans don't really know you. So, yeah. how would you describe yourself to the to the audience? Or? So, I listen. I listen to a lot of no cap. I get. I get a lot of puns and punchlines and just his flow. Polo G. He likes storytelling, and I like storytelling too. So. I use a lot of that. And also getting lit like young uh, little baby flows get people lit. So okay. I just so, try to be versatile with So it. I see you compared yourself to those artists. Would you say those are like your biggest influence in the game right now? Definitely. Definitely no cap, Polo G, Lil Baby. Roddy Rich too. Okay. Yeah, yeah don't forget Dre. <laughs> nah. You said Dre? Yeah. Dre. You said that because you light skin? Yeah. yeah. I see. Thinks yeah. I'm light skin. I'm not light skin. Okay. Don't cap. I'm dark skinned at heart. All right. <laughs> That's some Drake shit to be dark honest. Skin, but so, um, dark skin. Wait, he said I'm light skin, but I'm still dark skin. That's Drake's shit. Yeah. 
So look, uh, being a student athlete of Miami, um, how far are you looking to take your rap career, or what are you looking to get out of it? Honestly, if if rap if my rap career takes off like that, then I mean that's just gonna, that's what I'm gonna have to do. But is right. is all I always prioritize what I'm doing. So if I'm on a track, it's strictly track. I'm not even thinking about what's the next beat, what's this, what's that. Devote all my time into that. Once I'm off the track, then then it's up. I can focus on music and stuff like that. So So this is your first song coming out. How many songs do you have finished? I have I have four solid songs right now. Got a fifth one that I made two days ago. I just gotta touch that up a little bit. Got another one I wrote yesterday, so it'll be like When can we songs. expect like a project or a full tape? Definitely definitely in the next month. Okay. I'll have that all wrapped up. What's your process like um in the studio or making songs like you write or you feel me? You more of a freestyle artist. I'm more. I'm whenever anything comes to my head, cause even in the car on the way here, Monty put on the beat. Anything that comes to my head, I just start you just get writing your notes it and write it down. Just write it down, and then like I listen to a new beat, I'll just be humming it, just getting different flows. Then I'll just put the words into it. You like do like two hours in the studio, or you do like twelve hours. I, two hours is really all I need the okay, first nah, time I went to the Well, yeah, you only, okay. But now nah, I just say that because I know some people, like, you know, they're going there and make, like, five, six songs a day. You feel yeah. me? They'd be cool. The you first know. time we went, you we did again? two hours. I'm finished three songs. Three songs. Okay, yeah, damn. All right. Two hours. If I have five hours, I'm yeah. finished. You ain't got that yet, but, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's all about, yeah. So it's, it's all about capitalizing, like Monty said. Okay. All right, so, um, so, um, I know you said you... You and your boy used to, I don't remember you said his name, but I was trying to think of that. You used to work on music um, before you actually became a rapper. What was your involvement with music? Like, you were just making beats or? So, um, he had a little, it almost like a little clo- a little closet in the dorm room. It's just a little single. And he had one mic stand hooked up to his computer. He had Logic. And we would just go in there, get beats off of YouTube and just rap. And when we would make songs, we would get it to show other people. And he was like... Like, y'all good, y'all need to do this. So, shout out to Justin. He go by King J on Apple Music. He's fired. And he's really he's really the one. I, was, I got there on campus. I was like, bro, I'm really trying to rap for real. He was just like, come like come to the room. Like, I got a whole setup. Because he runs track two. So, that's really... I know you, you got a, like a, a TikTok career, right? So. Oh, <laughs> that TikTok Dance. career over. It's over. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. It's over TikTok over with. That's what I was going to ask you. I know, uh, you know, with the uh, current social climate that we in right now, um, you know, everybody's kind of hostile or hostility is up. No more TikTok. Um, but I saw that TikTok had took the BLM off of the, this uh, hashtag. And you couldn't, you know, anything related to the Black Lives Matter movement, you couldn't hashtag anything. So is that why you stopped using TikTok? Or? Yeah, I was just like, I was just like, if I see anything wrong, I still haven't even eaten at Wendy's, I heard. Nah, you yeah, Wendy's and McDonald's, all those other things. Don't four for four. So, yeah, we got to really reevaluate about how we go about this. Uh, exactly. experience. How do y'all feel about that? How you feel about all the protests and rights that's been going on? I mean, I'm down with the yeah, protests and everything. Good. I just, uh, my only thing is, like, just be ready to make the next step. So, right. like, even if it comes to, like, voting, right? Because, like, votes count. People say voting don't count. You just, you're just talking. Voting definitely counts. Yeah. And like then you can like be protesting, but are you going to vote for that change? But like also you gotta like how uh, you kinda gotta like work on preaching to like whoever is the candidates, like certain rules and stuff like you want to set, like you feel me, like pass certain bills, like my grandma, she been in the state house since like twenty twelve. She just she be passing bills and everything. So it's just like as far as stuff that go down in Greenville, whenever something happens, like She's somebody I grew up with. Like, she's always on everything. Like, everything that's going on, like, with the, like, no guns in the city. Like, she's, like, one of the main people promoting it. And that's why it's, like, when stuff happened in Greenville, it just be, like, everybody in the city be disappointed. Because it's just, like, they ain't, like, it's enough, like, good role models out here. For sure. You feel me? So, like, folks can just level up. But you feel me? Folks do what they do. They're going to get to it however they want to. Got to capitalize. Just ain't my right. But they capitalize in their way. That's why my boys got their cap. I got my cap. 
Now everybody can do the same thing. I know my limit. <laughs> All right, so look, I feel before we get out of here, um, I gotta ask y'all some questions. I ask every guest. So I said I was gonna do like that rapid speed type right. shit. I don't even want y'all to think too hard about it. So we gonna come off top of uh, light skin, dark skin, dark skin, chocolate, light skin. Okay. Or dark skin. both. Actually. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, WWE, UFC, UFC, UFC. Um, Adidas and Nike. 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 Power Adidas. Empire. Power, Power, definitely. Louis or Gucci? Louis. Gucci races. Both of them races, ain't they? You don't, you don't matter to you, man. I know you. I man. still you wear it, though, but. Yeah. I feel you, money. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's, let's heat it up a little bit. Dave, Issa, G, Herbo. G oh, Herbo. All right. Wigs or sew Don't matter. Mm. Wigs. <laughs> Flats or drums? Flats. Flats. J. Cole or Kendrick? Kendrick. J. Cole. Cole. You crazy, J. Cole. Floyd or Tyson? Tyson. Dang, it's definitely going to be Tyson because he's too strong. But Floyd, I, I like Floyd over Tyson. Not beating him, but I feel I like Tyson. I, I mean, like Floyd, Floyd, shit. Type shit. You are Floyd. All right, the baby, the little baby, little, little baby. baby. Okay, dang. Sorry, I gotta do it to him. <laughs> Biggie or Pop? You already know. Pop. West Side. All right, Jay or Kanye? Jay. If you I if I didn't hard. say yeah, nah, yeah, if I didn't say Kanye, <laughs> my fault, Jay Z. Yes. Michael Jackson and Prince last one. Michael Jackson. MJ. Beat it. Really. Need it. Alright man, that's it. I appreciate y'all for coming out. Kicking appreciate you. Me. Me. Y'all Bro, drop y'all socials, uh let them know people know where to follow you. Be out on the lookout for his debut single, Doubt of Me, June nineteenth. Yeah, one, yeah. one underscore Trey Cash on Instagram. Sure, uh Money Money Five. Underscore. Adios. Okay, G Wiz got it. Hey yo, Ren, turn that up. But you wasn't down for me. Thought you was gonna ride for me. These niggas be watching the way that I move, so they wasn't down for me. Said that I was always believing in you, but you steady doubting me. This pain in my heart, I gotta let up, but you wasn't round for me. No, you wasn't round for me. One in a million, okay. Said I'm one in a million. Don't chay when I walk in the building. No say, I don't know what I'm feeling. No shade, I'ma sip on this lift in her face when I just put the tip in. Top floor, said I'm right at the tip in. No Scotty, got a ball like a pivot. Hit for me, I can on this money, I cannot let up. This honest is stuff to me. Whenever I'm hitting the scene, my drip is so sharp, I never need cutlery. You let me, I'm still in the dark, I don't have no feelings, don't need to say stuff to me. Said, Mama, I'm sorry, they made me this way, I can't take it no more, it's no hard in me. My chain shine, don't need a sun Carport start, no key or nothing Perky got them feeling up Beat her back, don't need a drum Face down, hair tie, call up face I'm saying that she needin' some, she needin' some All black G, we back in the back Some of my niggas, they back in the trap Shout out my niggas, that's back in the whack Ain't gon' broke, I'm handling that Ain't gon' broke, I'm leveling up You broke, niggas still hatin' for what? Brand new drip, I'm changing them up Ain't got clips, we fading them up Who's gon' ride for me? These niggas be watching the way that I move, so they wasn't down for me. Said that I was always believing in you, but you steady doubting me. This pain in my heart, I gotta let up, but you wasn't round for me. No, you wasn't round for me. Thought you was gonna ride for me. These niggas be watching the way that I move, so they wasn't down for me. Said that I was always believing in you.